hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be a diy video so i've done one of these before it was a poundland poundland diy it's like a home decor poundland diy i'll leave that link below in case any of you are interested in that and i'm just gonna get straight into it so yeah i'm gonna attempt to make a lego wall for my boy's bedroom so we've just moved into a house and i'm trying to fill the walls with some cool things so hopefully the boys will want to stay in here because they've been a nightmare with wanting to stay in their own bedroom so yeah i think this is perfect for even a playroom or a girl's or boy's bedroom depending on obviously if they like lego or not so yeah he is super excited for me to do this and he's been asking me since we've bought the house to do it but there's just not been time so i'm just going to show you everything you need for the diy first so first you're going to need some of these what are they call base plates so it's the lego base plates so these are actually i think 15 pound if you buy the proper ones from smiths or anything like that the proper lego ones but these ones are only 3.99 from quality save so depending on how big you want your lego wall um, it's dependent on how many of these you need so i'm going to use four of these and i'm going to make it into a square i've also bought this rail as well i've already took the things off it because i'm going to attempt to try and get this on the wall with screwing it in but if not i'm going to use the no more nails because this is a plasterboard if you can see so i'm not too sure whether i'm going to be able to drill in it or not but i'm going to give it a good go so this is the rail i got from ikea and i I think this was like £1.50 or something I could be wrong and then I've also bought this separately so I don't even know what they're actually supposed to be used for but you can buy a big one like this or you can buy three little separate ones the three little separate ones are like 50p each but they're not gloss or anything so I thought I'd get this one because it's just easy to wipe clean and I also thought to get this one as well because if the boys um like drop the lego on the floor I can just easily scoop it all back up and then hook it onto the rail so that's the reason I got this and this is from Ikea as well next you're going to need some of these like velcro strips so i bought these command strips so it's what you stick onto the wall and then you stick it onto whatever you're sticking it to so i'm going to put it on the lego bases so it's just easy to be able to stick onto the wall and then they can also take it off if they want to play with it on the floor so i got these command strips i think it was like three pound for a set of two and then i also went into the pound shop and found that they did them in there so for the set of two in the pound shop it was just a pound so i picked up two and i wish i would have picked up more because i probably do need like two for each one so yeah i'm gonna give it a go and see whether i can deal with it with just using one but i'll let you know and then the last thing that i think i'm gonna do is i've just got some frames with some prints in it and i think i'm just gonna put it on the top of the lego wall just to like finish it off so i've got this frame here and i got this frame from the pound shop and then i just printed these things off and did I get another one? Another one there. But these are not necessary. This is just what I'm doing. So I just thought I would show you before I pop them on the wall. So yeah, I'm just going to get started. What's that? Right, mm -hmm. should we go put you to bed or are you going to go and watch the film on Mummy's formats and doing this? It's up to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first like try and place this on the wall in whereabouts I want it to be to make sure that this doesn't come too low onto the floor. So I think I want it about here. So I'm just going to mark it with the screw above about where I want it. Okay, so I ended up having to drill a hole into the wall and put wall plugs in and then I put the screws in and then realised I did it wrong so on this little pole it comes with these two little things to hook it on so you have to put them on and then screw the nail through it so I didn't do that so I'm going to attempt to do that again. You and I were always on the edge we fight and make love at the same time And then they give you these two little screws to attach this to it Would you break up just because I told you What I did last night I recall the times you said you're sorry I'm still not sure if you told lies And then this should hopefully just hook straight onto them. That's it. There we go. So now I'm just going to open all of these. It's, I hate it when they do this. They put like this cling film thing around it, but then there's no hole. So like where do you pull it from? So at first I was not only going to do two. I was going to have like one here, one here. But then because I don't think he'd be able to like reach it. 
but then he insisted he wanted four so you could use this if you wanted to just do the two or if you wanted to do like a huge wall of it I guess you could do it as big or as little as you wanted to depending on the space you've got We're holy when we touch anyhow. right so now I'm just gonna get one of these velcro things I think I would probably do like use the two if I had enough but I'm probably gonna go to the shop and buy some more so I'm just gonna pop one in the center for now of each of them because I've only got four and then if I need some more then I'll just go to the shop and get some more so it doesn't say which bit goes on the wall and which bit goes on the thing so I'm gonna guess that the rough side is gonna go on the wall and the smooth side is gonna go on this so that's just what I'm gonna do so I'm just going to place these on the wall just to see whereabouts I want them. So I want it to be around the centre of this. Let's see how this goes. I've just come up with a better idea. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick this to here so it's in the exact place I want it and then stick it on the wall just so I know exactly where I'm putting it so if I was to stick it to the wall and then stick this on it I know I'd get it wrong and now I'm just going to do the exact same thing with these prints To see if you would call me I miss you more when you seem too far away And you can blame it all on me As long as we can find our way Do you remember all the times we tried to stop this? Yeah, we end up the same every time Cause what about is we, there's nothing left to fight about So I'm gonna film the boys' reaction to this in the morning and open them. <laughs> do you like it? Yeah, I told you I'd do it, didn't I? Yeah. Do you love it? Yeah, yeah that says your name. That what's it say? Ali. <laughs> take one of these off because they're just on by velcro so if you want to play with it on the floor you just pop it on the floor like this and then you can play with it on the floor and build houses as well how cool is that <laughs> enjoyed this video and if you're new here then don't forget to go and check out some other videos and subscribe if you like them and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys